Hey everyone, it's Bevan. Um, I'm here with uh, Macy again, who is uh, sometimes camera shy, sometimes not. We'll see how she goes. Um, and we're here with the lesbian tea basket. Um, and tonight uh, I'm reviewing Trader Joe's tea. So this is like the house brand at Trader Joe's. It's like their specialty teas. This is pomegranate white tea. Um, and I will say that Trader Joe's, they are sort of a miracle. I don't know if you have Trader Joe's where you live. I feel really lucky that I work around the corner from a Trader Joe's. Um, and they have lots and lots of amazing gourmet food for super cheap. So it's really great if you like cheese. They have great cheese selection. Um, I don't know. It, it, anything you can think of. Trader Joe's probably has it and has some good magical reasonably priced version of it. Um, so this is from their tea selection. It's not very big. It's not like a Whole Foods tea selection. It's only like, you know, a few shelves. But, you know, they have the, the basics there. And um, what I like about this, what I think is different about the Trader Joe's tea is that it comes in like a little cellophane bag. Um, and like pretty much any um, store brand, it's not trying to warm your soul. It's just, this is the tea. We didn't spend that much money on the merchandising. Um, it's pomegranate white tea. So um, basically what it has in it is white tea leaves, um, hibiscus flowers, lemongrass, natural flavors, whatever that means, um, pomegranate extract, and organic citrus flavors. Um, and it says that it's 94% organic ingredients. Not exactly sure why the distinction of, oh, we're almost totally organic. Um, but I just thought that was a funny little thing. And basically, um, it talks about, um, the tea on the side of the thing. It calls it, uh, it says white tea is similar to green tea, uh, since it has undergone very little processing and no fermentation, preserving the antioxidant benefits. Um, some say white tea has even more antioxidant benefits than green tea. Um, which I actually uh, think that white tea tastes like 800 times better than green tea. So even if it didn't have as many antioxidant benefits, I'm all into white tea. Um, so my verdict for pomegranate white tea, it's really tasty. Um, it's got a good, um, the flavor is a little bit citrusy. It's a little bit tart, which I like a lot. Um, you can definitely still taste the pomegranate flavor, which I was surprised because usually Sometimes fruit teas claim to taste like a specific fruit, and really it just tastes like fruit flavoring. Um, but there's definitely a tartness, like in a pomegranate, um, and it's a very smooth tea, um, which I've found to be true for a lot of white teas. Right, Macy, you agree. Um, the mug I'm using tonight is my Girl Scout mug, which I still have. I'm impressed that it hasn't broken yet, um, since I've had it for, like, many, like, probably 16 years or something like that. I got my Girl Scout Gold Award when I was a senior in high school. So less than 16 years ago, like maybe 14 years ago. I went to high school in 96. That's 14 years ago. Um, so I think I got this when I got my Gold Award from my Girl Scout Troop Leader. Um, so it's got some tender memories attached to it. I picked it because it was green and because it's the holidays and I'm wearing a red dress. Um, you can tell by my name tag, which I haven't taken off. I always forget that. Um, I was at a networking event tonight for gay lawyers. So, you know, it's a fashion dilemma, right? What do you wear to the gay lawyer networking event? Like I wanted to be festive, um, and holiday ish, but I also wanted to be professional. Um, so, you know, you can't go for your like typical cleavage party girl outfit. Um, but I like this dress. It's vintage inspired. It's one of a kind. It was by size queen clothing, um, from Portland and I got it at the indie trunk show at redress. Um, so I was really excited about that. And always excited for an opportunity to bust out my fabulous wardrobe. So this sort of made the perfect holiday sense. And I got a lot of compliments on it. And the thing that I forgot about gay networking is that it's almost, like, always about 95% boys. Um, so it really doesn't matter what you wear because you're going to stick out because you're going to be one of the only girls. Um, but I will say, much like the organic content in Trader Joe's, it's still all awesome. So... Um, Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead in my Labras rating system for the Trader Joe's pomegranate white tea. I'm going to go with three and a half Labrai. Not trying to warm your soul, really not trying to go that far, but it's a good tea. It was nice. It's tasty. It's good for late at night because it doesn't have the caffeine. Um, Trader Joe's, though, I feel like Trader Joe's tries hard to have fun branding sometimes. Like when it's an Italian food, sometimes they call it, um, 
remember what they call the Italian food, but like their um, their branded Mexican food is Trader Jose's. Um, so I feel like they could do something with the tea. Like they could do like quotes on the bag or something. They could try hard. You know, I'm just putting that out there, Trader Joe's, if you're watching. Um, Macy agrees. Um, anyway, happy tea drinking, tea basketeers. <laughs>